everyone and welcome to Dog Plays. Today I would like to show you how to make a scrolling engine in Scratch like this one. It's like a scrolling RPG game where the screen scrolls and you don't have to go to multiple screens. So yeah, let's get right into it. So of course first we have to create a new project and to do and if you want you can just keep the cat because I'm just gonna keep the cat for some reason. I'm gonna change your size to 50 though. So, and also put him over here in costumes. Make sure that you flip horizontal the second costume uh, and um, then just make it, when green flag clicked, switch costume to costume one. And then, Let's just say the right arrow key pressed. Also switch costume to costume one. And then we need to do left arrow. Uh, left arrow key pressed. And then switch costume to costume two. So let's see how it goes. What, he's not moving. Don't worry, we'll get to that a bit later. But, I think I'm going to put this cat in my backpack just in case I need him. Anyways, so I'm going to upload a new sprite, which is going to be the map. You can upload any map you want. Just make sure it is a full map. I'm just going to upload the Pokemon map because I like Pokemon. And it's a good map. I really like this map. So I'm going to look at this map inside of here, convert it to a vector, and then you'll want to drag it up really high and make it down so it'll become bigger every time. And then you need to zoom in all the way until everybody knows that it won't fit on one screen. So just keep doing this until your map just looks right, and it should be done pretty soon. Anyways, it's almost done. I think one more zoom will do the trick. No, one more zoom, like maybe one more. Just one more zoom. Yes, the, yeah, I think that this is good. And our cat is pretty much in the show. So, now we need, when green flag clicked, motion go to these coordinates. It doesn't really matter what coordinates your map are on. As long as you got it lined up right over here, it's good. And when green flag clicked. Also, the reason why this ain't a backdrop, but it's a sprite, is because we need to zoom in bigger so it doesn't fit on one screen. Because otherwise it would just break the whole purpose. So forever and an if then block and then do if do an if right arrow key pressed then motion then go to change x by negative 10 and then duplicate that and change it to left arrow, and then do change X by 10, and then convert it to up arrow, and make it change X by, no, change Y by, make it change Y by negative 10, and then duplicate that, and for down arrow, change Y, by 10. Okay, let's see if this scrolling engine works. All right, I forgot to move the cat. Let's just test that anyways. Wait, what? That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, here we go. You might be wondering how the cat is moving without me coating the cat to move. Well, the truth is the cat isn't moving. Only the background is moving. And that just makes it a scrolling screen. 
So yeah, now you know how to make a scrolling screen in Scratch. Yay! Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching this lovely video. And bye!